Tonight we are getting new information about some of the victims of this explosion. Channel 6 News reporter Jasmine Caldwell is live in Gatesville with more on the man killed in the blast as well as those injured. Hi Jasmine. Well, hey, Doug and Leslie. Now, I did get this chance to speak to the sister of 44-year-old Michael Brugman, who died yesterday. And as you can imagine, her family is heartbroken about his death. Now, she shared with us this photo of him and said that Michael was a loving brother, son, and uncle. We are struggling very hard. Now, I also found out that the pastor of New Tabernacle, in Marlin was critically injured in the explosion on his wife's Facebook page. She said the next 24 hours will be critical for him. A spokesman at Baylor Scott and White and Temple said that two construction workers remain in the hospital. One is in critical condition and one is in fair. Now I spoke to a Gatesville woman here at the hospital today. Her father was a first responder. She says she's hurting for the families of the victims and says she'll never forget yesterday's blast. I felt everything like my car shaking and it felt like a small earthquake it, it was scary just you didn't have time to like think what just happened all you could think about was the explosion Several burn victims were also sent to Parkland Hospital in Dallas. Back out here live now, reporting live in Gatesville, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News. All right, Jasmine, thank you very much.